after the show, I had a chance to talk to the artistic director, Cassandra Shore, and also talk to some of the uh, musicians and the dancers. Your studio now, now you This is my studio. We are performing in the studio. We made it into the studio theater. You can't see it because it's behind you right now. But we did make it in the studio theater. I have the live band here. <laughs> this is a huge production. It is, it's actually. Masa. I it can Masa. imagine what's a real meal. Because Masa, oh, right. Because Masa seen is them. huge. You've seen them, some of the meals before exactly. when we've gone with the theme. So Masa, this is a little of this and a little of that. Of course. Right. The music. Right. Tell us about the selection process, creative process. You are the artistic so director. This is the Mesa, so most of the pieces are pieces that I've played before or I've choreographed before for other shows, but never to, never put them together in this way. And I picked the music that I love the most, or some of the music that I love the most, obviously. And one night you can't get everything that you love all at the same time. But um, it's really from old traditional music. I mean, Riyadh al you know, like a longa for Riyadh al all the way to something very contemporary from uh, uh, contemporary So we have, and everything in between. And some of it is folk music. We have Algerian folk music. We have uh, mostly it's Levantine and Egyptian and Lebanese music, but we even have folk music here as well. So it's quite a variety of shows. Now the concerts are more contemporary with modern dance. And so we get to study it and we get to perform with, with Cassandra and her dancers and, and it's, just, it's, it's the best thing. You know, and she has done more for Arabic music in this town than anybody because she has brought in so many the top Arab musicians in the country, Simone Shaheen, George Lamont, Nassim Wilson, all those guys, you know, for years and years and years. And so we played with them all the time when they were here and we learned from them. Of course we learned playing in these big, very grand shows and it's it's just it's always a treat. conversation <laughs> that's a fear but no hey, actually um, an accordion that I was playing it back in Kuwait was not uh, a Middle Eastern accordion no, it was not to the Middle Eastern scales at all. Doesn't have half to. No, it doesn't. And uh, I was all I played was the classical music, Beethoven, Mozart, and how did that help you in playing the Middle Eastern I, music? I, 
it's just work just fine because I, I learned by um, listening to music. I don't read music, so when I moved here, I'm, I'm so familiar with Middle Eastern music. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I have a theory about uh, how people pick up the instruments. It's, it's almost it represents their personality. You think I'm an accordion player? Yeah, I think the oh, way you, you see me at, on the street, you think I'm an accordion player? Without even, yeah. yeah. I think <laughs> people, this is potential. So it, it's, you don't choose the instrument. That's what I'm saying. Choose, choose it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, something like that. What's the attraction of Middle Eastern dance for you? You grew up here or from Yeah, I'm from Boston. Minnesota. <laughs> I don't know, it's just something about the music. Um, just the kind of exoticness of it, I guess. You know, we don't get a lot of Middle Eastern music around here. Or at least I didn't grow up with that. So, um, yeah, and the costumes are just beautiful. The, the costume to the, tonight. Mm -hmm. Lots nice. of variety. Uh, mm -hmm. really, really when your friends, your family, you know they are, you are into Middle Eastern dance and inspiration. Um, they are, they love it. They think it's super cool that I do this. I grew up in Belarus, which is part of, uh, was part of Soviet Union, and uh, um, there was a great exposure to variety. It was part of, a big part of uh, uh, Russian entertainment, and uh, um, the uh, improvisational nature of that dance, that what attracted me um, strongly. And uh, um, so that's what I like in the Middle Eastern dance, what attracts me um, very much, that improvisational side of it. Okay. 